You know, all year when it came to NASCAR's decisions with their future and all that stuff, with their problems that they're going to fix from Brian France, I've actually been positive about a lot of the decisions they've made all year long. And today's decision is not a good one. No, it's not a positive one. What is going on, folks? This is the Impress 48 here, and today, welcome to the new episode of Race Topics with the Impress. And here we are. So, the news came out about what's going to happen for the remainder of the 2020 season about practice and qualifying. We're not going to get one. We're not even getting, we're not even going to get a practice session for the Daytona Road Course, the Charlotte Roval, Road America for Xfinity. Just That's how this is how I really feel. Very pissed and very disappointed that it's gonna be like this for twenty for the rest of the twenty twenty season. Like it's bullshit. Sorry, it's bullshit. Now let me say something about that before I go over an article or whatever. Um, don't get me wrong. It's been cool. It, it was cool to have no practice and no qualifying when NASCAR came back. Honestly, I thought it was because. Hey, protocol reasons of the pandemic, because we're still in a pandemic. America's got the most cases of pandemics of all time because this country's a joke. But I'm gonna but that's an off topic thing. Um So yeah, I was hope yeah, I thought it was because of uh protocol reasons for social distancing, so no one can get it during the season. And I think they've done a good job of that. The only time we've had practices and qualifying was for the 2020 Coca-Cola 600. That was only for qualifying. Literally, that's it for the Cup Series. And then for Xfinity, um, they've only did practice for the Indianapolis road course. That's it. But this decision to not have practice or qualifying for the remainder of the season. At this point, I don't think it's about protocol reason. It's starting to become another gimmick from this year because, oh, a bunch of the races have been better. Oh, look de doo Don't get me wrong. I remember watching the 2018 Brickyard week because the entire weekend was rained out. The Xfinity race, all those the restricted plate race, it was okay. And then the 2018 Brickyard 400, one uh, personally, it was a good breakout for all your race because they didn't do practice or qualifying. All right, okay. I thought it was for protocol reasons, but it's starting to look like it's another gimmick. Yeah, I said it. Sadly, it's another gimmick that NASCAR's doing this year because they love what they're seeing. Because whenever there's like bad stuff NASCAR has, they always pull the car that is BS. That we love what we're seeing. What about drivers? There's some drivers that don't like practice qualifying. Some crew members. I know there's some that, that don't mind it. But there are some that hate this rule. Like think about it. We're about to race the Daytona Road Course for the first time next month. And we're not going to have practices at least? I, I'm not going to be surprised if it's some bullshit test session that's going to last short. If everybody, if everybody junks up at the start, that's on NASCAR. That's not on the drivers. Especially the Shuttle Roval. Yeah, this year it'll be the third time they'll race at the Roval. It's still pretty new to them. It's so tricky and I think they need it. They need to learn again. What's wrong with that? It's bullshit. So I got this little short article that I found. And it was Scott Miller, the NASCAR Senior Vice President Competition Guy. I think he's the one that made the decisions. He said, quote, 
following discussions with our race teams and the broader industry, NASCAR will continue to conduct its race weekends without practice and qualifying for the remainder of the 2020 season in all three national series. Thankfully, at least it's for the remainder of the year, I guess. At least it's not like the rest of NASCAR's existence, I guess. And this is where the part that's just just pisses me off. The current format has worked well with addressing several challenges during our return to racing. Most importantly, we have seen competition racing race week to week. Okay, but there are drivers that still need it. Most notably, Kyle Busch. Most notably, fans. Most fans. Myself. NASCAR will adjust the start lineup draw procedure for the chase races. I'm not going to say the P word. Mm -mm. Nope. Not in this channel. Playoffs don't belong in motorsports. And we'll announce a new process at a later date. <sighs> yeah. It's just a gimmick for the rest of the season. Just because they're good, like, just because we've seen better racing with none of the pre-race tune-ups and setups. Get ready for race day. It doesn't mean we, we asked for this. We, we understood it was a protocol thing. But because you're going to take that away for the rest of the season, because you like what you guys are seeing, that's a gimmick. And it's a bad gimmick. I feel bad for people who actually fall for this crap. They're gullible. It's a shame. And here's the thing, though. Even during this pandemic, other motorsports do practice and qualifying. IndyCar, ARCA, IMSA, Formula One. I believe MotoGP, obviously. Um, even Supercross did it. And it's crazy. A lot of motorsports series have been doing practice and qualifying even during this health crisis timing. And of course, NASCAR, of course, because of something good happening, although it's temporary and we didn't ask for it, we like what we're seeing. So we're just going to take that shit away for the rest of the season. Honestly, I started to get bored with the draw. Um, I don't know, like, it didn't take too long for me to get bored of the draw, honestly. I hate the draw. It's stupid. Like, if you're gonna do the draw every race for the rest of the season, it's stupid. And take it away practice, at least? Why? Oh, yeah, because they like what they're seeing. What about some drivers that don't like it? What about some teams that don't like it? What about the owners? What about, exactly, think of all the people behind the scenes who work, who work on those cars. What would happen if they go to the, to the Daytona Road Course, and I don't know what, if it's really going to happen, but it wouldn't be a surprise if it does. Everyone would just pile up and turn one of the Daytona Road Course and the Shell Roval. Expanding Road America, I know they've been there for 10 years, but still. Those drivers need practice for road courses. NASCAR does oval races a lot of times. 90 something percent of the times. And it's a shame that NASCAR will take away uh, pre-race preparations such as practice and qualifying. I'm tired of the practice. I'm tired of no practice. I'm tired of the draw. It's so stupid. It's very frustrating. To have this decision being made by Scott Miller. He should be shot, honestly. <laughs> oh, boy. this is, The last time NASCAR made such a bad decision was to add two more spots of the, of the chase in the NASCAR trucks. Although Matt Crafton destroyed the format, NASCAR's still keeping it. But hopefully they still get rid of it in the future. Hopefully sooner. 
this is basically, I don't know, like, this is one of the decisions that's have been made even without Brian France. At least it's not as much, surprisingly, but we still need this crap. We still need it. But because of the comp, because how competitive ha- it has gotten with no practice and qualifying, of course, NASCAR, they just want to have their gimmicks. 2021, where are you at? Like, I'm thinking about watching races if NASCAR is just going to be like this. Like, should I watch these races? Should I not? I was very excited for Daytona Road Course. I still am. But now I'm, being, now I'm more skeptical. Same with the Shuttle Ripple. Same with Xfinity at Road America. I don't know if there'll be other road, uh, other road course races in NASCAR for the remainder of the year. I know Canadian Tide's not going to happen. I know Walking to Glen's not going to happen. I know that Mid Ohio is not going to happen. So, the only practice you'll see is ARCA. And props to ARCA for. Keeping up with the practices and qualifying. I think they do draw sometimes. But hey. At least they do practice. Oh NASCAR. When will you bastards learn? I guarantee you something bad. Something so terrible would happen. Um, they would be like. Shit. I, why didn't we do this? Why did we not stop doing this? Or something like that. Like they'll have instant regrets. And will take more action. As soon as something bad happens. It's just dumb. I can't believe NASCAR's going to go to this direction for the rest of the year. I thought it was a protocol reason. No, sadly mistaken. <sighs> NASCAR and the gimmicks, when will they learn? Although we're almost done with 2020 season, and I'm still going to look forward to watch races. Certain races for Cup. Of, of course, all of them for Xfinity and Trucks. But... What a low blow, honestly. Worst thing that has worst decision has been happening since stages, the elimination format, their crash clock, the damage policy thing. God, the, uh, it's a long list of bad rules and bad decisions. Of course, no practice qualifying for the rest of the year. That's one of them. Fuck NASCAR in this case. I do apologize for. This being a negative episode. Because I want to I want to be more positive about NASCAR's decisions. That's why I like to make this show about like like upbeat, like positive, happy episodes. Uh about like decisions in motorsports in general as well. And every NASCAR decision every NASCAR video of this series have been positive. Most of them. Then there's like a couple that are negative. But they've been mainly positive. But in this episode. No it's not positive. Stupid. Stupid decision from NASCAR. Of course. They'll do something bad. Because they like what they see. Oh. They turn real course. Might be a wreck fest. If there's a wreck fest on these races. You can thank NASCAR for them. So that'll do it for this video, folks. <sighs> I really hate to make a negative video, but if I have to, I will. Because I'm a motorsports fanatic at heart. I want to ask her to make good decisions. Learn from the bad decisions. Stop with these gimmicks. But no. This one is just a low blow of the year. <sighs> so yeah. For the people who actually like this rule, I hope you got what you wanted. You be careful what you wish for. If there's a crapshoot going on, and then, I don't know, more bad happen, more stuff bad happening in your perspective of this rule. Don't come crying to me. Don't come crying to NASCAR. I'm sure you guys, want, some of you guys wanted that. I know some people that do. And one more thing. It's going to... And one more thing I forgot to mention with the no practice and no qualifying, especially no qualifying. There are some small teams that are actually suffering from this. Morgan Shepard's Xfinity team because 
when's the last time we've seen the 89 team race this year? They can't race because, like, they keep getting DN- DNQ'd. There are teams who have been getting DNQ'd because of the draw. They haven't even gotten out of the freaking track and actually timed their way in. And because of the draw, of course it's going to affect the small teams. That's not good. But NASCAR doesn't care. They like what they see. So, yeah, the draw. That's, I miss qualifying more, to be honest, because of that reason. I miss, I, I miss practicing qualifying in NASCAR because I want to see cars and drivers test their setups, test their tunings, and see who's really the fastest to start the race, who will make it in, who's not going to make it to the race. I like pre-race preparations, too. It's for the teams and drivers. But too bad we're not going to have that this year. Fuck 2020. Fuck NASCAR with this decision. On to next year. Am I right, folks? So, sorry about Charlie barking in the background. So, that'll do it for today's video. What do you guys think about this stupid decision? I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm your press 25 and Ian for us 40 underscore YT. Follow my social account. Wait, I already said my social accounts. My Instagram. Sorry. I always mess up the outro. Like my Facebook page, enasker48-enation films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notification bell for more content. Thank you guys for supporting EA Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Fuck NASCAR in this situation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Don't be like NASCAR.